2023 looks quite eventful for Syria. It all started with Arab rapprochement, reopening consulates, boosting diplomatic ties. Now, in this recent week, Iraqi head of state met with President Assad. The Iraqi-Syrian relations are not new. They have been vital. They share a very long borderline and even wars. But this recent visit was impactful in its own sense. We tell you how. The Prime Minister of Iraq, Mohammad Shia al-Sudani, traveled to Damascus this week on a two-day diplomatic trip. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad welcomed al-Sudani and his delegation with military honors. Iraq was among the few countries that maintained ties with Syria after the civil war broke out. But no country had stepped into Damascus for over a decade. This is the first visit by an Iraqi leader since 2011. The two discussed a range of issues in the high-stakes talks, including the security of their shared 600-kilometer-long border and mitigating the impact of drought. The leaders also agreed to enhance cooperation to reduce drug smuggling. We also discussed the issue of drugs, which is currently the most dangerous problem, and it is no different than terrorism. Drugs can destroy society the same way terrorism can in any society. I and the Prime Minister discussed lots of topics. Sudani supported lifting of sanctions on Syria. The sanctions were imposed on Damascus when it descended into a civil war more than a decade ago. Iraq supports the measures to lift sanctions against Syria to protect the interests of the Syrian people and help them get assistance and necessities, thus alleviating the humanitarian issues by solving the problem of daily material shortages. Baghdad and Damascus maintain close economic, military and political ties with regional heavyweight Iran. The three have been pally to one another through the unrest. Al-Sudani also reiterated Iraq's support for Syrian control over the entire nation. Back in 2014, both countries fell victim to the Islamic State. The terror group took control of large swaths of land in Iraq and Syria. After a years-long campaign that left tens of thousands dead in both countries, the Islamic State was defeated in Iraq in 2017 and in March 2019 in Syria. Over the past years, Damascus's forces regained control of much of Syria with the help of Russia and Iran. The terror group no longer controls any territory, but it carries out frequently deadly attacks in the region. We are facing some specific and direct challenges and on top of these challenges, there is also terrorism and cooperation in fighting terrorism which is active and alive and won't die. The visit comes at a significant time for Syria. Starting from Saudi Arabia, West Asian nations have started embracing Damascus once again. Syria was suspended from the Arab League in 2011. What followed was decades of tensions. Assad waited it out. He was readmitted to the Arab League this May. As part of the re-entry, the Syrian government has agreed to crack down on cross-border drug trafficking and the return of millions of refugees. The government has pledged action, but maintains it is not involved in capital trafficking.